Ensuring that EU law is respected throughout the EU is the job of the Court of Justice of the European Union. But how does it do this? This one institution actually has two distinct courts. The Court of Justice, which is the higher court, and the general court. The higher court, the Court of Justice, is made up of one judge from each EU member state. Not all judges hear every single case. Each case is allocated to a chamber. The number of judges present reflects how important or complicated the case is. The judges are supported by Advocates General. Like judges, the Advocate General sits on the bench and hears the parties. They then give their own impartial opinion on a legal solution to the case, before the judges themselves decide. These chambers deal with a wide variety of subject matters. A fundamental role of the court is to answer questions from national judges about how EU law should be interpreted. This allows all national courts to apply EU law in the same way. Another of its main functions is to settle disputes that occur between different EU institutions. The European Commission can also bring cases against a member state who it believes has infringed EU law. The General Court has more judges. They too sit in chambers of different sizes depending on the importance and complexity of the case. The General Court hears cases brought by individuals or companies wanting to overturn a decision made against them by an EU institution. It also deals with cases brought by member states against decisions taken by the Commission. This means that, whilst the General Court hears cases on a wide variety of matters, cases about trademarks, competition law, agriculture, and anti-terrorist legislation and sanctions feature heavily. Any official language of the EU can be used in front of both courts with the court providing translation and interpretation where necessary. Rulings are published in all EU languages so that all citizens can read them and see how the European law protects us.